I'd like to say that I'm about to show you Tanya Hilton's video claiming that she is under a flag attack in the interest of the promotion of freedom of speech, but I'm not. Instead, I'm going to demonstrate for you a clear example of the kind of lying that she's been doing since February. Watch this video, uploaded after I made my flag video last night, in which she claims she's also being flagged. Pay very close attention to the evidence that she provides to support her claim. A quick note to my subscribers, as you may have noticed, I'm under flagging attack again, and let's face it, I think we all know who's behind it, even though they claim they don't want me flagged. I have created a backup channel, link below, and you can click on it to subscribe, please. I want to make sure you all know that there are a few troll channels floating around, impersonating me, leaving nasty messages with people. These troll channels are not me. All my channels are directly linked on my account, as well as my backup account. Anything that's not linked on that page is not my channel. So yeah, please subscribe to my backup channel. Blink, 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 blink. Click it. Subscribe. And uh, please spread the word. The license of this video is set to Creative Commons, so it's easier for you to just mirror it. I'd appreciate it if you spread the word. And um, while my current channel is still up, here's a message from the ducks. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to rate so the trolls don't win. And please follow Felida the Geek on Twitter. Did you see the evidence? Neither did I. There's one habit that I've picked up lately because of all this stuff that's going on, and that's collecting evidence. Watching True's Friction's videos have shown me the importance of documentation of even the mundane things when it comes to protecting yourself against Tanya Hilton. This video of Tanya Hilton's channel index shows 29 videos listed. I captured this video last night at 7.19 p.m. in the Eastern Time Zone, or 1.19 a.m. in Germany, where Tanya Hilton lives. Since recording that video and the creation of this one, she has uploaded a total of three videos, bringing her new total of videos to 32. And here's the new list. There are no videos flagged off of her channel. She's manufactured this to give herself an opportunity to plug her own backup channel. She's been doing this again since February, using non-existent, falsified, or incomplete bits of evidence to try to convince her supporters of the evilness of myself and others. And here are the two lists side by side so you can see them. And here are the two lists side by side so you can see a comparison of them. I'll try to sync them as much as I can. Now I predict that to defend this lie, she'll probably change her story after this video comes out. Now, I'd like to point out one other thing here. She recently made a video which featured her 12-year-old daughter. In a nutshell, she logged into her daughter's account. She claims it was a mistake. She used the account to make comments directed at Sniper of Buffalo on a video. When Sniper responded with a hi, she freaked, claimed Sniper was harassing her daughter, then made a video death threats against Sniper, offering no evidence for any of this. She followed that video up with another video, pleading for sympathy, in which she foolishly and recklessly features her 12-year-old daughter. Never mind the fact that a 12-year-old is not allowed to have an account on YouTube according to their own rules, for rather obvious reasons. But Tanya Hilton has a rather persistent troll, in the AA Army. It's beyond unconscionable that she puts her daughter in this video, given what happened to All Babies Are Atheists with his troll. In her haste and blind rage to win what she calls a war, she made a horrendously bad move that has potentially jeopardized her daughter's safety and privacy. Now, going to her video description where she announces these flags, she says she's getting privacy flags. Ironically enough, the video in which she foolishly and recklessly features her 12-year-old daughter probably should be flagged down for privacy. Just pointing out the irony there. Finally, following up last night's video, where I closed the video off with the question of whether it was worth opening up a backup channel, 
I was tired and I was frustrated. And after putting up that video, a friend of mine knocked some sense into me. She knows who she is, and I promise to not smack that button anymore. I'll be announcing my backup channel shortly. Thanks for sticking with me. I have a feeling that we're getting near the end of this. I'm out for tonight. Take care of yourselves.